good day. The state television company of Western Armenia presents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, the 22nd session of the National Assembly of Republic of Western Armenia was held. On June 2nd, the conference The Black Sea is the Heart of Europe will take place. Nervous reaction of the Russian Federation, the inevitable has happened. Israeli weapons in Artsakh agreement with the Russian Federation. The report of the former consul of Turkey in Lebanon, Fatim Zorlu, against Armenian and Kurdish issues. Assimilation centers in Dersim, environmental platform of Malatya against the plunder of nature. On May 25, 2022, the next 22nd session of the National Assembly of Republic of Western Armenia was held, which was attended by 18 deputies. Issues on the agenda were discussed. Draft law states that recognize the independence of Republic of Armenia on the territory of Western Armenia, works related to the internal regulations of the National Assembly of Western Armenia, discussions of current issues of the meeting of seven convocations on May 28. The session opened with the speech by President Armena Gabramian, since at a request of the deputies. Mr. Armena Gabramian speaks at a meeting of the last week of each month. After the speech, the President also answered the deputies' questions. During the meeting, the format of the use of state symbols was also discussed. National Association of Armenian Veterans and Like-Minded People, a Soratized Representative of Patriotic Association and a Deputy of Member of French Union of Associations of Veterans and Victims of War, we invite you to take part in a forum, The Black Sea is the Heart of Europe. Press Secretary Armen Agabraman, Chairman of National Council of Western Armenia, started a conference June 2, 2022, Thursday at 10.30, in the Veterans House. The conference will be held in accordance with the protocol. The Russian Foreign Ministry again reacted nervously to the Michel Pashinyan Aliyev talks in Brussels. Last time, the Russian Foreign Ministry said that Brussels wants to master the process initiated by Russian efforts. The same problem are discussed at the formats of Brussels and Moscow, with one exception. The West, the United States and the European Union noted that the Artsakh problem has not been resolved and recognized the rights of people of Artsakh, but in a Moscow format this is not and cannot be discussed. The top leadership of Russian Federation stated that the issue of Artsakh has been solved and there is no status problem. Russia's reaction is undoubtedly connected with the loss of power in Caucasus and most importantly standing face to face with Armenia. After the events in Karagluk and Lavrov's admission that the US and France defended Armenian interests, Russia can no longer hide behind Baku's back and the situation in the Caucasus does not depend on Russia from the moment when a joint operation against Armenia was launched with the Turks. Israel has banned Germany from supplying spike missiles manufactured using its technologies to Ukraine. This is reported by the publication Axios. A senior Israeli official said that Tel Aviv is concerned that Russian soldiers will be killed by Israeli weapons, which could not lead to Russian harming Israel's security interests in Syria. As we can see, the Syrian seam is present in the war against Ukraine. Russia ensures the interest and security of Israel, including the strike of Iran's military facilities. In return, Israel did not join the sanctions against Russia. In a 2020 war against Armenia, Israel supplied Baku with weapons used to kill Armenian soldiers. Israel did not have such concerns at that time since it was again acting on a Syrian basis under agreements with Russia about which there were many materials in the press and which were repeatedly mentioned. The 2020 campaign against Armenia also had anti-Iranian goals. Historian and academician Professor Said Çetinoğlu touched upon the report of the former Minister of Foreign Affairs of Turkey, the former Consul General of Turkey in Lebanon, Fatih Rushdu Zorlu, presented on May 19, 1944. The content of the report is based on Armenian and Kurdish issues, about which an article was published in a Beirut-based Kurdish newspaper, Roju Nu, on May 8 on the same year. Read more about the article on our official website. On September 12, Kenan Guven, appointed a governor of Dersim, started a project, one mosque in each village. Now some centers are being established in the provinces and in different parts of the city. Noting that assimilation policy pursued by the state in Dersim continues to grow every day, Musa Kulu, co-chairman of the Alevis Democrat Union, said that the state's goal is to destroy the face, language and memory of the Dersim people by strengthening Islamic rituals in people's everyday life. The state, together with the so-called Alevis, entrusted 
to them is trying to put an end to Alevism in Dersim. It is now considered that 500 leaders were sent on pilgrimage from Dersim to Mecca, who are called Alevi Dede in the language of their people. The state is trying to put an end to Alevism in Dersim by developing various policies, said Nevin Kamilagoglu, the equal chairman of the Confederation of European Unions of Alevis, and added, We know very well how pre-government people work in Dersim, Chemevi, the gathering place of Alevis, cooperating with people presenting the Alevi Dede community. All this is aimed at changing the social structure of Dersim, we also know the young people are being sent to the criminal board there. A public meeting related to the irrigation reserve and the mine will be held in the village of Harunashag of Malatya in western Armenia. The environmental platform of Malatya called on the public before the meeting, stating, We invite our people who are fighting for the protection of the environment to support our fair fight. It should be noted that the environmental impact assessment process has begun within the framework of which a delegation consisting of specialists will arrive at the territory of the aforementioned village and in addition to studying will hold hearings with residents and other participants of the gathering. Having joined this cold and condemned any encroachment of nature, the government of Western Armenia categorically opposes any illegal activity on this territory. Now musical part Armenian folk song, Varjan Markarian's song. The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.